Hi, my name is Sand Dunes and I'm going to show you a little demo today of how to build a track from scratch using the Novation Launchpad X. This is a really handy controller. It fits right into my backpack where my laptop lives and it's super convenient when I'm traveling. It gives me a tactile surface that's really fun to play and also helps me come up with new melodies or ideas I wouldn't otherwise think of if I was using a traditional keyboard style MIDI controller. So to begin with, I'm going to record some drums that I'm going to play live using a drum rack that I have loaded up in Ableton Live. To record a groove, first I have to record arm my drum rack track. I do that by holding down the button on the bottom right. You can see I'm in record arm mode and now I can record a clip into the session view. I often loop a groove as a starting point when I'm building a track. Now that I've got the groove, I'm going to add a layer of hi-hats using the session record button. Now that the groove is ready, I can use the stop clip button from the mixer mode to stop the clip. The next thing I'm going to do is add some chords. I have a synth loaded up in my second track and I need to record arm that second track in Ableton Live Session View. Switching to note mode allows me to play out the actual synth part on the Launchpad X. I have an instance of Wavetable loaded up on the second track. By using the Scene Launch button, I trigger the groove and now I'm going to jam out some chords in note mode over the groove and use that as the second layer of my track. I can now hear back what I've just recorded into this clip. I'm pretty happy with that and I'm now going to move on to a lead. Now that I've got chords and a groove, I am going to record arm the third track for a lead line. This is a bit on the dry side, so I'm going to use the mixer mode to send the synth to return tracks A and B in Ableton Live where my reverbs and delays are set up. Now that I'm happy with that sound, I'm going to go back to the session view, use the scene launch button to listen back to what I have so far. And I'm going to record a lead line, a melody or an arp over this loop. I trigger the clip, switch to note mode and then I can play it out. Since I'm still working in the session view, I can go back into the mixer mode and play with the amount of the sends once the clips have already been recorded in order to achieve a wetter or a drier sound for the lead synth. And I can use the stop clip button to stop the loop. If I want to play around with even more effects while I'm composing, I use the custom mode of the LPX. On the third page, I have set up two unipolar mappable faders on the top and bottom of my launchpad surface, a momentary CC button on the left and a toggle on the right hand side. I have this mapped out to a filter cutoff, resonance, some distortion and delay on the lead synth. You will now be able to hear the filter opening and closing. My left hand is controlling the momentary drive amount, while the button on the right toggles the delay on and off. The velocity sensitive pads allow me to control the filter to open rapidly or smoothly. Using components, the software interface that allows you to customize your custom modes, you can really create specific tools for your Launchpad X in order to improvise and come up with new compositional ideas. Back in the mixer mode, you can listen to single layers of your groove at a time. And in a nutshell, this would be a starting point to build on. 
So I hope that gave you some ideas about how to build sounds from scratch and put building blocks together in order to build music using the Launchpad X. In case you're looking for a more advanced controller, check out the Launchpad Pro Mark III and uh, happy music making!